Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to have a tutorial on a waterfall stacked envelope junk journal. But first, let's have our shout out. To Lisa, Jojo, Sandra, Rosalind, Donna, Mercy, Janice, and Vicki, I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so you can see that I have my papers here. These are squares, so you need to have a square because we're going to make our own envelopes. So you're going to need an 8x8, eight eight. you're going to need a 7.5 by 7.5, <laughs> and then you're going to need a 7 inch by 7 inch, a 6.5 inch by 6.5 inch, a 6 inch by 6 inch, and a five and a half inch by five and a half inch. And do you remember how to make envelopes? Let's just quickly run through that again. So of course you've got to start with the square. This is my base envelope. It's going to be in just a moment. It's eight by eight. I will list that down below. You know where it says description and then it says more? Click more, it'll take it on down and it will tell you the size of paper that you're going to need. You are only going to need one of each because there are going to be six envelopes in this junk journal. And we're going to put them together in a waterfall type style. So I'm just going from corner to corner and I'm putting a little mark right here in the middle. Then I'm going to go from corner to corner, so right here, and I'm going to put another little mark right there. All right, then you kind of look at your paper and you're going to decide what you want for your flap. Now I'm going to say that the flaps are going to be kind of covered up <clears throat> in this project. So if you really, really like this right here, don't put it on your flap. Choose another corner. So let's put it on the bottom. So I'm going to take one of the other corners and I'm going to take the tip of this paper and I'll put it right at the cross of that those two lines, the intersection of those two lines. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to take the opposite corner and I'm going to have those two touch. So just like that, they're touching now. Now remember I said that the the um, flap, <laughs> I forgot what the word was, the flap is going to be rather covered up. So I'm going to choose to put this side on the flap. I'm going to bring this one up for the bottom. I like to put this corner and this corner on one of my lines on my glass mat. I'm going to use the other end of my glass mat over here and I'm going to fold it up about a half an inch using my lines to keep it straight. That's the one thing you need to try to be precise in keeping it straight. Because if it's not, you're going to end up with a wonky envelope. Now it looks like this. Then what, I, what we're going to do is we're going to take this part right here. And I like to fold it over this way first. So you're just folding it straight down. And then I'll fold it back the other way. And wow, doesn't that look like an envelope? it sure does. Then we're going to turn it and once again I'm lining this side up on one of those lines and I'm going to fold it over about a half an inch. Just like this. And now we have our envelope. Now I, in this project, I'm not gluing it together. I'm going to open it back up and <clears throat> I want to cover this. And I want to cover mine in a music sheet, okay, using music paper. And I'm just using my corners to make this easy. And I am simply going to place my glue right here. Now I'm not going to place it. I'm okay, let's highlight this so you can see what I'm talking about. Right here. Right here. Okay, 
I'm going to place my glue on this side of my fold, which I've highlighted, down to about right here. Okay, I'm not going all the way down. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. And I'm just going to use the corner of my music paper. I'm going to line it up just like that, and I'm going to glue it. So let's do that. I'm getting my art glitter glue, and I'm simply placing my... I just cleaned all this. <laughs> it's goopy. No, I just cleaned it. And why is it not coming out? Oh, here it is. Oh, and it's really coming out. Okay. So I'm just going to place my glue right here, just like this. And I'm going to put a little bit here and here. And I said I'm going to take it down about right there. Okay. I'm taking the corner of my music and I'm simply going to lay it right here in the corner of my envelope, lining it up the best I can, and then just making sure that my glue gets spread out. All right. Now I'm going to trim this. So I am going to bend it back and I'm just going to get my scissors. I'm bending it back where we folded it. Remember we did all that folding? So I'm just going to remove this. Now I find it easiest to do it this way. Some people are really good at cutting things to fit and then getting them glued right back on the right way. I, not so much. So this is how I do it. So then we're gonna fold back this side. Okay, so you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Okay, we're just gonna fold it back. My glue is a little wet. It got stuck on there, on the scissors there. There we are. And then I'm simply going to cut it right like that. And then I'm going to cut it off here. It doesn't have to be straight. You're not going to see into that envelope. So I'm going to just add a little bit of glue here and glue that down. I don't want it to kind of made a bad cut, didn't I? There we go. I don't want it to come up because you're going to be sticking things into this envelope. There we are. Now what I will want to do, see now is our envelope. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. Now it's lined with our music paper. Now you can choose something else. Maybe you want another digital. Maybe you like the coffee dyed paper and you don't want to cover it up. Maybe you want to put, did I say book page? <laughs> book page in there. You can do whatever you want. I've just chose to put music paper. So then you'll want to ink around everything if that's what you do. And then you'll want to glue it down. So you'll glue down your flap. I'm not going to do this because I haven't inked it yet. And then you're just going to glue this down. Now when you glue this down, when you apply your glue, you're only going to apply it here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. We have to cut our corners out. So let's get to the corners part. I'm going to highlight this just so you can see what I am talking about. So inking this up. Sorry guys. I was thinking about putting together the, uh, the stacked envelope and I haven't done this part yet. Now, now I gotta get that inked up so you can see that. There we go. So we're going to take our scissors and right here where we have our little pie shapes, we're going to remove it. And I like to remove it and take out even the inked portion because you'll want your envelope, when you fold it back, let's go ahead and take this one out. Okay. And that one. When you fold it back, you're going to want this part right here, this part right here, 
too clear and so when you fold it back you don't want any bumps so if it folds backwards a little did this one fold backwards a little I think it did there we go can you see that it folded back just a tiny bit even though it's a little tiny bit it's going to be enough to make your envelope not not go together nicely so just remove a little bit more it will be fine all right so then of course you're going to have one up here when you fold this down i don't want to do it because i just ink, uh, glued it but you'll have another pie shape here and another pie shape here and you'll remove it just like you did here don't forget to glue down your little fluff right here then you fold it back together and you only have to glue from here to here and here to here if you glue here you're going to glue your envelope shut and <laughs> you don't want to do that okay now when you have made all six of them you've made all six of your envelopes and you've glued them all together they're going to look probably not the same print but they'll be like this okay and they'll be graduating sizes because we made this one eight by eight seven and a half by seven and a half seven by seven six and a half by six and a half six by six and five and a half by five and a half okay the next thing we want to do is I'm going to stack it opposite I'm going to stack it so the littlest ones on the bottom I'm going to set those aside this is our our first this is our base all right so our flap is what we're going to build each envelope we're going to put one down we're going to put an envelope on top we're going to bring in another envelope and all of them are going to be glued onto the one afters flap flap okay so i have my ruler here oh i want to use centimeters just because and you can't see that uh let's see can I find something that you can see? Can you see this? No, it's shiny. Can you see? This one's much bigger. This one's much bigger. I think you might be able to see this one. Okay, three centimeters. That is the same as this, right? I don't do centimeters, so I hardly even do inches very well. So, because that's what I did my example. I have made one. I've decorated it completely. Decorating does take a little bit of time. But I found that when I made mine, that you need to put it together first before you start decorating it. And I'll explain why in just a minute. So, here is my, my this is my 8 by 8 eight inches by eight inches envelope this is my seven and a half by seven and a half inch envelope and you can see it's nested okay i am going to turn it like this this corner cannot come out if it comes out from the top of the base envelope you won't be able to open it up okay it needs to stay on this side of the top of the base envelope and I like to keep them this corner also uh, within the base I don't want it I don't want it to be like that I don't want it to be like this I want it to stay stay within the base envelope I'm going to measure three centimeters from here to here I'm angling it and I want three centimeters that's my measurement that I'm going to use on each and every envelope that I build up actually it's coming out this way because it's a waterfall so I've got my my point right here I'm going to pick this up just so you can see I've got my point right here and then this point is well within and then I'm just going to bring it down three inches and that's too far 
push it back up something like it's going to be hard for me to hold it up three inches okay and it's well within everything's well within so what I want to do is I'm going to actually mark it with the top of my second envelope I'm marking with a pencil right here I can barely see it but I can't see it so that is where I'm going to add my glue right on here I'm adding it to my flap of the base envelope and I'm taking my envelope and I'm placing it right where my mark is making sure I don't that's too far down I don't go over too much glue there okay I've got to open it up to make sure I didn't glue anything shut that's our first and second envelope and see I can still open it completely up because this point is well within the envelope okay this one's a little bit well, it's right there all right the next one is the seven by seven that's the third one I'm gonna go the opposite way and I'm measuring from the second envelope so I'm going to bring in my centimeter and I'm going to probably that's not the way you say it I'm bringing in my ruler I'm measuring it to three centimeters I'm keeping it well within the second envelope this point is within the second envelope this point is not sticking out of the second envelope and I'm going to mark it then I'm going to add my glue just like that and I'm going to add my I'm going to measure it just to make sure before I push it down. Okay. Now I'm pushing it down. Now we can open it and we can open it here. So we've got that and that. Isn't that cool, you guys? It's really pretty once you get it going now this is our fourth envelope the fourth envelope is six and a half by six and a half I'm going the other way again so this one was this way second one was this way now I'm going back this way and I'm going to be this point is within the third envelope okay you keep moving down and I'm going to mark my use my ruler about right there and I'm going to make sure I'm well within I'm going to move it up just a little bit okay not bad not bad right there not bad okay I'm going to mark it now I'm going to take my glue I am using my art glitter glue and I'm just adding it to my flap And then I'm adding my envelope, making sure I stay well within. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to open your envelopes. Okay, you want to make sure you can open everything. We're going to push this down. Okay, so we've got this one. We've got this one we've got this one <laughs> okay now we've got our fifth envelope and we're going the other way again so you've got to keep this envelope within this perimeter of this envelope 
and so I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. I'm going the other way. We put this one this way. This one's going this way. And I'm going to get my centimeters. Don't ask me why I started with centimeters, but that's how I made my example. So that's why I'm sticking with it. <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking with it, right? Okay. Now I'm well within. I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to put the glue on my flap, just like that, and I'm going to add it, just like this, it's got to be well within. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> I love these things. I really do. Now, this is our last one. I don't want it. I don't want it to be super duper crooked. So I'm really just kind of eyeballing this one. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit, but I actually think I'm going to bring it down so it's this one's not showing so that means I'm going to bring it down about that much do I like the way that looks no not right there oh I like that I like the way that looks right there so I'm going to mark it and then I'm just going to take my glue and I'm just gluing onto my flap and then I'm going to set this one right like this all right so this is our stacked envelope this is our first one right here our first one and then this is our second one and then our third one, and then our fourth one, and then our fifth one, and then our sixth one. Isn't that cool? I just think that's so cool. Now I did want to say that when you're picking out your smallest envelope, this is the one that the flap will show, unless you choose to cover it up when you decorate it. Let me show you what I made. Now for some reason, well actually I do know the reason, I wanted to show this one. I just had some darker prints. That's why these are all kind of dark. I thought this would be a cute fall, a fall one that I'll get to later. But then I, for the example of actually putting it together, I thought they needed to be kind of different colors so you could see better. So that's why I chose this one. And then I was left with, what am I going to do for my example? Well, you guys, I did Christmas. I know, crazy wild. But I did do Christmas, so I think it's so cute. I used those vintage handmade flowers that we made. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? I did a little bit of a bow here. I've got a label, some gold bling. I've got a belt buckle right there. I just think that's so cute. Now let's look at this. Open it up. You can decorate the inside. You can put different items in here. There we are. Let's open this one. I put a little bit of lace and a label and a bow and some more gold bling. There's another little journaling card right here. Now I did sew each one of my envelopes. As you can tell, I did take it to the machine. I sewed the envelopes when it was in this stage. After I folded this, I cut the notches out here, I inked it all up, then I sewed it with my machine. In case somebody else was wondering, when do you sew it? That's when you sew, sew that. And then when you're decorating, the reason why you put it together and then decorate it is because you still have to remember 
that if anything you have, it must be within that envelope or it's not going to open. Now you see this handmade flower that we've made together. It is set within that envelope so it opens up. Otherwise it wouldn't open up freely. I made a little tuck spot right here with some little tiny tags. I've got a couple of pieces of ephemera inside here, just like that. There's a little Merry Christmas with some lace. We open this up and then we've got Sanny and a Noel and another little Sanny down here, another piece of ephemera inside. I did also take gold and I gilded it here and there, even on the inside. I put some gold gilding on it, opened it up again. I put a little small tag here with a little bit of burgundy colored ribbon. I've got some more lace. I've got some another journaling card inside. I think these are so much fun to make. I really do. Opening up the last one. I just got a little circle with some ribbon. I've got lace on lots of the corners. I've got a little girl with some more lace and some more journaling cards inside. I love it. So I added lace around some of the, the envelopes here. I've got it on that side. I've got it up here and around. I've got it over here. I've got it up here. So, and I've got a little collar like thing right here. Oh my goodness, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video because I have loved making this. I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.